Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to reflect a shape um, over a line. So this line happens to be a line that's diagonal compared to my grid. Uh, the process, we're going to use tracing paper, and the process is exactly the same. Um, it's maybe a little harder to visualize, uh, but the, how you do it is exactly the same, um, no matter uh, which way the line is going compared to the grid. All right, so I've made a shape that's like uh, the letter L here, um, partly so that we can see um, once we reflect it, it's going to be a mirror image. And so the L is going to be like a backwards L. Um, so what we're going to do, let's try to imagine it first before we start. Um, we want a mirror image we want it to reflect over across this line here. Um, so some things that are true about reflections is, first of all, we're going to have a backwards L. And also, if you start off with a, if you're reflecting over a diagonal like this, and we start off with this vertical line, it's going to be horizontal over here. And the horizontal line is going to be vertical. So our L is going to be kind of like over here. Okay. Um, so that's just uh, for practice, kind of being able to see. You could draw it really carefully if you wanted. Um, and then you could see how accurate you were once you used your tracing paper. All right, here's the process of how we do it. We're going to put our tracing paper over everything. And then this is actually parchment paper instead of tracing paper. So I'm going to use a Sharpie to mark all the important points here. So I need to mark the corners of my shape. And I'll um, just write down what letter belongs where. It's not exactly necessary, but it helps keep organized. And then I'm going to mark where my line is. Um, and you can use any a ruler or any fancy straight edge to trace it all. You don't really have to trace the edges of your shape. I don't know, I think it kind of helps you see what's happening. And then I am also going to trace the mirror line. I just want to point out one little place that people can struggle. Um, so we're going to flip this over here. Um, we have to make sure that when we reflect it, when we flip it over, um, we're, we're going to line up our mirror line with mirror line with where the first, the original one. Um, and we have to make sure that also we don't slide it by accident. So I'm just going to put like a fat dot right here. And I'm going to match that up with that one. Make sure they line up. And then if I match those dots up at the end, then I'll, I'll know that I haven't slid my line by accident. All right. Lining everything up. So that is where my reflection is going to be. And now all I have to do is just go carefully point by point and mark them on the page underneath. Just want to keep everything lined up. So I'll start right here. Little mark. So this A went here, so this is A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, E prime, and F prime. So some ways you can double check your work are just by using some of the properties of reflections. You can make sure that your shape is the same. Uh, size that it was to start with. And if you have a line, for example, this line I'm tracing right now is five squares long here. 
and it was to start with, so that's a good sign. Everything should stay the same size. And if you have any right angles after you reflect them, they should stay right angles. All the angles should stay the same size. So if you can see anything that looks like a little bit wrong, <laughs> uh, you can go back and sort of double check that point on your tracing paper and make sure you've got it lined up right. So here's our L. The one thing, the thing that does change with, um, one of the things that changes with reflections is now this is a backwards L. So if I put my left hand here, it's not going to be the same. So this one is an L like with my left hand, and this is an L like with my right hand. So not, <laughs> not an L, a backwards L. All right. Um, so that's a quick instructions on how to um, draw the reflection of a shape in a line using tracing paper.